Hello, we are going to create a simple Java GUI application using AWT framework. Abstract windowing toolkit AWT is a good old package for creating use, uh, GUI graphical user interface applications in Java. To create a Java application using uh, AWT package, first you need to import Java AWT. This package will contain many user interface components such as frame, panel, text field, so on. Also it will contain certain uh, layouts, flow layout that we are going to see now. After importing this, we need to create the user interface components. The most essential component is a window. A rectangular window will have a title bar, minimize, maximize and uh, close buttons. So this uh, window also have a content area. This uh, content area is defined by a panel in Java. This is automatically created by uh, frame. So first we will create a frame. Instead of just creating the frame, we can uh, customize, create and customize the frame together. For that, we will extend our AWT test class from the frame. So AWT test is also a frame now. So in the frame, we will create some user interface components and add it to the frame. Uh, this is the constructor. This constructor will construct our frame. Uh, while constructing the frame, we can specify width and height of the uh, width and height of the uh, frame. So here we are specifying width as 300 pixel to 200 pixel height. And then layout, how the components inside the uh, frame should be laid out. That we can specify using layout. Flow layout is a layout where in which if the component is only one, it will be center aligned. If there are more components, components will be aligned in the same line. If the line width, width is not sufficient for those components, the component, few components will be laid in the next line. So this is the flow layout. And then we will create a label, text field and a button. So how the label, is, uh, what is label? Label is used to display some plain text. And uh, if you want to edit that text, you can use text field. So text field is to uh, edit, uh, type and edit the text. And button, button is a component which can be clicked, activated by the user. Uh, so this button is uh, titled as uh, test and uh, this button will not have any action, nothing will happen if you click that button, but we will just create and see how it, uh, how it is going to look. So after creating all these user interface components, we will add them one by one. So first I will add a label, then text field, then button. So in the same order, the, these components will be appearing in the uh, frame when we execute this code. And after uh, uh, adding all the component, I will invoke set visible. Set visible is also a method of frame class. So when I invoke set visible and by passing true as argument, the frame will be made visible. So all these th things will be happening inside the constructor. When the AWT test object is being constructed, all these things will happen. Now I need to create this object that I will create, uh, that I will do in the main method. In main method, we will say new AWT test. This will create a new object. When we creating a new object, the constructor is automatically invoked and all these things will happen. Let us uh, execute and uh, see what happens. First, compile Java C AWT test dot Java. Now I will say Java AWT test. So this is my AWT application, my frame. So here we have the label text field. In the text field, I can type, type here. And uh, this is the button. We can click it. Nothing will happen, but we can click. And uh, let's see what happens if I maximize. The components will be center aligned. And uh, what happens if I reduce the size? This is quite interesting. I will reduce the size. Component will flow to the next line. The width, width is not sufficient. Component will flow to the next line. Yes, this is about the simple AWT application. You can make this application more beautiful using Swing user interface components and uh, also you can handle the events and uh, make uh, uh, programming more fun. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.